20 minute drive from the nearest highway leads you to the community of Yashuna. Women in traditional Mayan dress run errands. Many of the men live and work in tourist areas, returning twice a month. Life moves slowly here in a town of less than 700. In some ways, it's a very traditional community. You see a lot of these kind of thatched buildings behind me all around the town, and there's no cell phone reception to speak of at all. But in other ways, it closely resembles what you might expect from a small Mexican town. Just on the outskirts of town, evidence of an ancient civilization. Mayans are thought to have lived in the area since 200 BC. Santos Esteban Chuk is an artisan who makes carvings sold at tourist sites. As the end of the calendar looms, he feels a sense of history. We're lucky to see how this era ends, he says, and hopefully we'll see how the other one starts. Lots of people say it's the end of the world, but we don't believe that. The Mexican government has been trying to encourage modern housing by subsidizing cement. But old construction methods die hard. The head of the community enforces local laws, such as a ban on the sale of alcohol. I ask him if he really believes in the Mayan calendar. 100%, he says. We are descendants of the Mayans. We don't live in a city. Whatever we learn is from what our grandfathers told us. They were teaching us things about the stars, about when it rains. Not everybody shares in that tradition. Teresa Kanu Ulmish is making tortillas for lunch. Like much of the older generation, she only knows a Mayan dialect, which is still spoken by more than a million people in Mexico. As for the calendar, I don't know anything about it, she says. I can't read or write. A world away from the tourists and doomsday hysteria, a traditional way of life looks set to continue long after 2012. Nick Parker, CNN, Yashuna, Mexico.